Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Super B Wigs. But before I get started on the details, guys, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. It is free. And also turn those notifications on because you don't want to miss out on any of my videos. So the box was really cute, but not much came in the package um, except for this wig cap. I do have the Dora Swiss Lace wig, and this one is a 13 by 6 curly short bob unit. I do have the length 16 inches. The density is 150%, and they did send over the average cap size. This one comes with your soft Swiss lace. It comes with two combs on the side, a comb in the middle, and a comb in the back, and your adjustable straps. So the company also does include a removable elastic band on the wig and then also the knots on this are the HD knots and then the lace is the HD Swiss lace. The knots are very small and very fine and then the lace color on this is medium brown. Now if you need the transparent or a dark brown lace color just email the company so they can help you out. You also do get a pre-plucked hairline and it also looks like they did go in and bleach the knots. So I did not have to bleach the knot, so that was nice. So I just went ahead and washed the unit. I used my Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner, and I had no issues when washing this unit, and I also did not get a lot of shedding during the washing process. Now, of course, the curls are more tighter when you take it out of the package, but I like to wash my curly units because I want to see what the pattern is going to look like after washing it. So this unit does come pre-plucked already, but I decided to go ahead and pluck out some more hair in the front just to kind of thin it out a little bit. This unit to me is full all the way through. So they definitely do not skimp you out on any hair, but I wish it was kind of a little bit thinner in the front. So I'm just going to go in and adjust that. Of course, if you are a beginner and you are scared to pluck out any hair, you definitely can skip this step because the unit looks good as is, but of course I'm a little bit extra. So I wanted to pluck out some of the hairs. I'm not a pro at plucking my units. I'm still learning myself and I try not to over pluck so I don't stay in one spot too long just because I don't want the balding look in the front. I still want it to look nice and full. Now in the parting space area, I knew I wanted a middle part and the parting space looked very tight also. So I did go in and pluck out some of the hair within the parting space so that it would look more natural. Definitely did pluck out a good amount of hair when it came to this unit. So I'm just refreshing the wig again just because it did kind of dry out a little bit. And I am using my She Is Bomb Fuse Foam to set the front of the hairline. And I'm also going to run that throughout the hair and brush it all in so the curls can form together. Of course, all of the products that I am using in this video will be linked down below in the description area, which will make it easier for you guys to find. Um, this hair, like I said, was very soft, but it does get very dry quick. So if you are plucking the front of the hairline, you want to make sure to have a water bottle on you when it is time to style. So I let the unit air dry overnight on the mannequin head and now I am going to apply it just making sure that it fits on my head really good. Now the removable elastic band on some units can be very uncomfortable for me depending on where it is placed at so I have to be careful about where it is on the side by my ear so I have to kind of mess with it a little bit. But I am going to have to go in and cut out some hair on the side by the ear just because it was a little bit big. Now I do have an average cap size once again, but this one does come in the petite, which will take an extra five days. And then you can also get a large cap size, which will take an extra 30 days. Hopefully when it comes to large cap size, 
I'm like, why does it take so long? <laughs> That's a long time for a cap size. So maybe the companies will speed up that process because I think 30 days is a long time. So I'm just showing you guys the hairline. It looks pretty good. Like I said, I plucked out a lot of hair. I could have went in and plucked out some more, but I wanted to stop. I didn't want to overdo it. I'm just working on cutting off the lace. Of course, I did go in to the hairline a little bit so it would not look too boxy. And I'm just going to pull it up and that is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the knots, in my opinion, in the front were a little bit visible. They were more visible than the knots on the lace in the parting space area. I'm gonna go in using my olive oil super hole fix it spray. You guys know I am loving this stuff right now going to adhere this whole unit down because I don't feel the need to I'm only going to focus on the front of the hairline and I'm not going to mess with the sides because they won't show with how thick this unit is I don't have to worry about laying it down of course if I wanted some extra security and didn't want to have to worry about it flapping you can always go in and bobby pin the sides that's what I usually do it works out for me super easy so I'm just gonna use a blow dryer to speed up the process. And then I'm just going to go into the parting space. I'm gonna use my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette. And I am going to put some powder in the parting space just to make it look, you know, more natural. And then I'm gonna go in with my wax stick and go around the hairline and also by the parting space area. And I'm going to use my hot comb. Now, the roots on this aren't curly, so you guys know how I feel about that. If they aren't curly, then I'm going to try to flatten it out as good as possible, make it look a little bit more sleeker. But I did not have the heat turned up on this hot comb super high because this one goes all the way up to 500 degrees. I only had it on, I believe, like 250, 260 because I did not want it to look super sleek. Unit is already starting to look good as is but I want to add some little bit of extra on the side. So I'm gonna pull out a little bit of hair on the side and just put some foam on my edge brush and then just swoop the hair over. Now I'm not gonna go all throughout the front, just only on the side. I feel like it just needed a little something right there. Of course, if you aren't a fan of baby hairs, you do not have to do this step. So on to fluffing up this hair. I love this part of messing with curly hair because I wanna see how big it's going to get and how good the density is going to look. And as you guys can see, they did not skimp you when it came to the density on this unit. It is very nice and full. It is a true 150% in density. So if you like big hair, then you are going to love, love, love this unit. So and it, of course, because of how short the unit is, this is 16 inches, so of course it's coming off a little bit shorter. It's going to appear even more thicker. Now I did have to go in and cut off a piece on one side of the hair. It was a little bit longer and then it was some scraggly pieces, but that was just like an easy fix. I even like the shape of the hair after I fluffed it out. I'm also gonna have to go in in the front because on my side of the camera, the front of my hairline was giving off a tiny bit of shine, so I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of powder to kind of knock that off because sometimes that does happen when you use the sprays. Guys, this is the final look of this Curly Bob unit. She looks really pretty. The lace melted in really well without too much effort. However, I could have put a little bit more powder on one side, but that's okay. It still looks good. Now, one thing that I will say is that my knots weren't super invisible in the front area, even though powder helped conceal it. Um, I did notice in some of my pictures that I could still see a little bit of the knots, so I wish that they weren't as dark. Now, this unit is very full. This one is 16 inches once again. Um, the length on this unit is 8, 10, 12, 14, and then 16 is your highest length. On the website, like I stated before, you can ask for the bleach knot option if that's something that you want, or you can just not opt for it at all. Now, the hairline on this, once again, I did go in and pluck out some of the hairline. 
Um, I feel like I was happier with it plucked out a little bit more because I feel like it was super full. But once again, the invisible knots in the front, they were way more darker than the knots in the parting space. So they weren't completely not noticeable for me. So guys, let me know what you think about this unit. Overall, I think she is really pretty. The lace on this is very thin. It's that thin kind of stretchy lace. So it's going to melt into your skin without having to put too much effort into it. So that's one thing I do like about this type of lace. are feeling this short curly bob unit i'm gonna go ahead and leave all the links down below guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys